Hello! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley and this is Faithful Rattos. So, as you can tell from the title of this video, I have some exciting news. I have some new babies. So, these boys are from the most recent litters at Kinema Rats. Emmy is one of my friends. I think she's wonderful. I think her rats are wonderful. I have two of her rats already. Ezio and Tushi are from Kinra. And when she messaged me if I would like any of them, I said yes. Yes, I would. And here they are. I'm going to tell you a little bit about them and things like that. Um, but yeah, so here they are. This is their cage, their, their baby cage that I've set up. It is sort of like dinosaur themed. They are wonderful. If you're like me and you have big adult books, babies seem absolutely tiny in comparison, even if they are like a normal size for eight, nine week old rats. Um, but yes, they are sleeping. I probably should have done this at a different time if I wanted them awake, but this is really the best time that I had to do this with lighting and things like that. and being busy for the day, so I'm going to get the first one. Maybe them being a bit sleepy will be a bit helpful. So, this is Azriel. He is a Russian blue. This is Azriel. He's a Russian blue little boy. <laughs> he wants to go back home. He is a Russian blue little baby boy. He was named after a character from His Dark Materials. I haven't had a His Dark Materials named character for a long time, so I thought it was due. He is, I think, probably the bravest out of the three of them, and the biggest also. He's very sweet. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. He is from the Mooch litter, so his mum is Witch and his dad is Moon. Isn't that right? That was probably the hardest place to try and reach from, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Now this is Stendar. As you can see, he is an agouti. They're all top ears. We needed a bit more top ears around here. This is Stender. He is a pretty agouti. He is the one with two marks on the tail. We will be able to tell them apart eventually, I think, but as they're kittens and they're really, really small. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so this is Stender. He is Azriel's full brother, so his mum is Witch and his dad is Moon. They were born on the 15th, I think. I think they were born on the 15th. And he was named by Rat Dad from the Elder Scrolls. Weren't you? You also d forget just how wiggly babies are. Just how wiggly babies are. <laughs> I've never had an agouti before. I've never had a Russian blue before either. Um, I think they're just perfect. I've had agouti marked rats, but I've never just had a unmarked beauty and there's one more little boy who is in this corner and this is RK he is a little bit more reserved than his two brothers rightly so his mum had a nasty accident when they were babies and she ended up passing away but the babies were there when it happened so they're all a little bit nervous because of that as you can tell he's still really Hannibal though he's not once you get him out he's he can be just as affectionate as the others he was also named from Elder Scrolls and obviously he looks very similar although he has one tail mark whereas Stendhal has two as you can see so they all have the same dad so they're like the half brothers his mum was called Wasabi and his dad is Moon. So he is from the Moose Litter. They're very cute, as you can see. So, oh, I didn't tell you about their show names. I always do like cool show names. So Asriel's show name is Kinra, the Arctic Scholar. 
Yes, it is. Stendhal's show name is Kinra Righteous Might. And RK's is Kinra Bringer of Light. Yes, it is. You know me, I love a good show name. This isn't going to be a super long video. Um, I don't think, let's see if they want to comment to here. This isn't going to be a super long video. I really wanted to vlog this experience. I really want... Who's in here? Oh, it's Asriel. Asriel. No, that's not Asriel. That's not Asriel. That's one of the... A stender. A stender. Look at him. Look how cute the babies. Look at those two up there. Um, what was I saying? I did want to sort of vlog picking up these babies as adoption vlogs do really well. I think this video will do really well anyway, but I do love a good adoption vlog. However, because I was spending a little bit of time with Emmy because we're friends and I was helping her with a project, I was doing an interview for a project that she was doing. I didn't vlog, I also was on the train and it was a, a relatively really quite hot day. Um, they didn't come on the train, like I got a lift back but I went there on the train and it was just a long hot day and I just didn't feel like vlogging at the end of it. Um, so I didn't end up vlogging, there's two boys in here now, <laughs> didn't end up vlogging um, but I hope this video does. Um, I also haven't made a video in a really, really long time. Um, I was planning to film, but I started back at work and I'd just come back off like a really long trip and I was just, I was just tired and I didn't really have a lot of time because I was busy doing a lot of other things besides work. So that's why there hasn't been a video for a while. I'm trying to get into the sort of routine of work because um, obviously the first couple of weeks are different than sort of how it normally goes and I'm trying to get into a bit of a routine with work and then sort of giving myself some extra commitments on top of that. I think probably two videos a month is more reasonable um, because I'm hopefully going to be doing some extra freelance work as well um, aside from my full time job um, and also do babysitting and things like that. So it's really a um, a mystery how many videos I'll be able to make. I am planning to make some more of those variety genetics videos. I'm planning to make a Russian blue jean video. I'm, try I'm planning to make a modifier video, so to talk about mink and chocolate. Do you want to come? Yeah. Um, but if there is any more videos that you would like to see, let me know, because I will make them. I just wanted to introduce you to these little boys. These cutie, cutie boys. They are settling settling in really well, as always when it comes to well-bred rats who are socialized. I cannot get behind the American mentality that like, if you socialize your rats, you're ruining their natural temperament. It's absolutely hilarious to me. Um, I remember there was somebody, I think it was on, I don't know if it was, I think maybe it was on Discord or something, who said when I mentioned that I was getting babies from Kinra, they, I, I don't like this person anyway, um, but when I said that I was getting babies from Kinra the last time and I got Ezio and Tushy, they were like, Oh my god, I just looked at her page and she says she handles them from pinkies and all this stuff and it's like, yeah, that's it. like that's the way that you get happy, healthy, robust babies is to get them used to handling. Um, it's so strange to me because when it comes to a dog and um so to like dog breeders and things, if you had a dog breeder that didn't socialise their dogs and just quote unquote let their true um temperament through, like everyone would go crazy because obviously dogs even if they have good temperaments need to be trained and need to be socialized from being young puppies and if somebody said that about a dog there would be uproar but because it's rats they don't need socializing they just need to let their true genetic temperament shine through very strange 
Um, but as you can see, they're doing very well. <laughs> He's going to climb out, I think. Um, yeah, they're very sweet. He's going back home. Um, yeah, it's going to go back. Whoops. So, yeah. Here are my babes. Hey, hey, hey. I'm trying to get a thumbnail with all three of them poking their heads out. <laughs> Hi, stand up. Um, but yeah, these are the new babes. They are incredibly brave and um, everything. Oh, I will say one more thing. As if you've watched my channel for a decent amount of time, as you will know, I've had some pretty bad luck when it comes to kittens getting very, very, very severely unwell and ending up passing away as a result. And I think a lot of people will just get babies in twos, especially if they already have rats. Now, I'm a really big proponent of always getting three baby rats um, wherever possible. Obviously, sometimes logistically that doesn't work out. But I'm really a big proponent of always getting three baby rats because you never know what might happen. And I've had three baby rats have severe enough health issues that they need to be put to sleep. And in one of those cases, I only had two rats and there was other factors involved. However, whoops, stand up. However, that did leave a baby on their own, which is really not okay. But in that situation, I have a whole video explaining it if you want to know. He's eating the dead skin on my finger. Wonderful. But they really do need same age company. And if you only have two and one of them passes away, that does cause quite a big sort of kerfuffle when you're already grieving a tiny little baby. So my recommendation is that you always get three baby rats wherever possible, even if you're adding to an existing group, just in case something does happen, because you never think that it's gonna happen to you. And after the first time it happened to me, I didn't think it was gonna happen again, and it did. And then it happened again. Um, so you just really never know what will happen, even with healthy, well-bred rats, you never know what will happen. So I just recommend that everybody, <laughs> that everybody gets three, just to be on the safe side when it comes to that. And as you can see, <laughs> they do um, come out by themselves after you warm them up a little bit. Um, even RK, who is a little bit more reserved, who is the last to come to the front of the cage, still does enjoy the attention. And yeah, Azrael is having fun here. Um, yeah, it's been Stendhal. It's been really nice to have them. And it's been really nice just to spend the week getting to know them and spending time with them. And they've been a real... Um, blessing coming home to work to these little faces to these little faces you're not climbing on the top of the cage stendar that's not gonna happen right let me put this back in let me put this back in here we go yeah who's on my shoulder is it asriel yes it is okay asriel say bye bye all right thanks very much for watching guys um if you want to stick around, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to follow more day-to-day um, -day updates on my rats and other pets, um, follow me on Instagram at faithfulratters, just like here. And I'll see you next time. Bye!